So, got something this week. <laughs> so we're doctors, like what? That's right guys, so I am now officially a doctor. Inside this scroll is my medical diploma. Let's open it up. Feels like a lightsaber. <laughs> All right, wouldn't that be funny if there's nothing inside? But there it is. I am now officially Dr. Trivedi. So after four years of medical school, I made it. I am now a doctor. And really guys, I made this video not to show the degree off. Well, I'm super excited to share this with you guys because I feel like you guys have all been part of a medical journey for so long. But really, I made this video for two reasons. One is to give motivation to the person there that's watching this video. It's like, I don't know if I can do this. You're either in medical school or you're about to start and you're just worried and stressed out throughout the process. Or two, you just want to learn some advice from somebody who's gone through four years of medical school. And I like to think I've enjoyed the process. And hopefully if you watch more of my videos, you understand I'm all about enjoying the process, getting through it successfully without all that stress. So in this video, we're going to give you those tips, we're going to give you those advice, so one day you could also stand there and hold this expensive piece of paper and say, I did it. All right guys, what is going on? Officially Dr. Lux here from the MD journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. Today's video is all about helping that one individual that's watching this that just needs a little pep talk because I promise you, you can do it too. So I'm gonna give you the things that I've learned throughout my medical journey that I'm hoping it's gonna help you throughout your process. If you guys have more questions, you know where to get me, hit that comment section before we get to those tips. Hit that like button like now, I think it's over there. And then hit that subscribe button too. But let's get into the tips. Advice number one, guys, is to make sure that you treat medical school as four years that you want to remember. I think one of the biggest pitfalls that med students fall into is that they see med school as just another stepping stone into their medical journey. They want to become a doctor. They want to get to where I am. But what you realize, what I'm about to realize is that it just gets tougher. And while that can be demoralizing, really what you want to do is just enjoy every process at a time. Med school is amazing. It's fun. You can enjoy your time while studying and working hard, but you have to get in that mindset of this is four years I want to remember in a positive sense versus just something where I remembered how hard I worked. When I look back at my four years of medical school, it's not the long hours of studying that comes to mind first. It's the friends that I made. It's the amazing patients that I think about still to this day that really transformed me into the doctor I'm about to become. And so make sure you kind of have those memories be at the forefront of your medical school experience and not the long studying, the step one prep, all of that. That's still part of it. Don't get me wrong. What you want to remember is four years that you can look at as an positive experience. So advice number two is something, guys, that I really didn't realize until maybe a month prior to med school being over. And that is to really become an extraordinary individual and a version of yourself, whether that's a med student and also in your personal life. You really have to look for the unseen doors of opportunity. So let me explain. When I came to this country, my parents didn't have a high school education, college education, definitely not a med school education, but they worked hard because they wanted me to be educated. And so, you know, our first goal was to graduate high school and get into college. We did that. Then it was to get into college and, you know, get that degree. We did that as well. And they wanted, you know, me to get higher education if I wanted to. And so I chose to become a physician, obviously, and here I am. What I realized though, is the first goal, the second goal were things that were kind of obvious. You know, if you work hard, you're able to get a high school diploma in the United States. You're able to also get a college degree. A medical degree, however, is something that almost looks impossible when you start at a position that I did. And many of you guys watching are probably at too. What you have to understand is to realize your true potential whether in personal or in your academic life, you first have to get past the obvious doors of opportunity that everybody sees for you. You may be smart, people can tell that, that they know you're gonna get that college degree and do well. But to get to the actual true potential part, you have to crush through those doors of opportunity so then you can see the doors of opportunity that you never knew were there for you. I never knew I would be going to a top medical school, graduating near the top of the class, doing extremely well, and also enjoying the process. And now being to the position where I am a doctor and I can take care of patients in a few short weeks, that's just crazy. Um, so understand that to get to your true potential, if you're a first year medical student, you wanna be a really smart doctor. To get to that point, you first have to walk through the doors of opportunity, the things you know you should be doing that are obvious, get through those so then you can see how much more you can take yourself. So hopefully that makes sense. Essentially, 
do the things you know you have to do and that are required for you to reach your goals so then you can see the other goals that you never even imagined accomplishing. Now advice number three is for those of you guys that are stressing out and needs this video, which is take a deep breath, it's going to be okay. Regardless of what you go through in your medical and personal life, that seems like the end of the world, the end of your academic you know, future, I promise you it's going to be okay. It's just part of the plan. Whether your scores aren't as high as you want, um, a rotation doesn't go well, a class doesn't go well, a test doesn't go well. All of those things are going to be minor details in your lifelong plan. Take it a step at a time, take a deep breath, mourn for a second and be disappointed if that happens and it's going to happen to me too. Take it and then just use it as motivation to work harder and get to the next obstacle. With every valley, I promise you guys you're gonna reach to the peak of the mountain too. As corny as it is, I promise it's true, but make sure to take a deep breath. You know, take a second to be disappointed and after that, move on. And the quicker you do, the better you're gonna do for yourself as well. And lastly guys, it's probably the most important advice and I wish honestly that I took this more. And that is to make a conscious effort to make lifelong friends. Medical school is just an environment that is just unlike any other. You guys are studying together in a way you've never studied, and worked hard to, in a way you've never worked hard before with individuals that are doing it you know, at the same time as you. So it's so easy to create lifelong relationships with these individuals because of common hobbies, but honestly, just the things that you guys are going through together, um, make sure you take advantage of these people. They're super smart, we know that, but they're also the most kindest, compassionate individuals you can find, also funny, they're athletic, and you can find a lot of lifelong friends in medical school as long as you take your face out of the book. So spend some time, make sure you have evenings dedicated to hanging out with your medical school friends. You know, I played a lot of basketball uh, in med school and I realized, you know, some of my closest friends were the individuals that I played ball with. So make sure that you make the effort because you don't want to be that person at graduation. I promise you that they are individuals uh, in the situation where you're looking at everyone else taking pictures together and you're not part of the group. And that's not, you know, a, a FOMO situation. It's just those individuals have truly made the effort to make connections together. You want to make sure that you're just not making a connection with your textbook or you are. So I promise you it's going to be worth it if you focus on the individuals around you, make lifelong friends, and I promise you it's going to help with tip number one. You're going to remember four years of medical school and a positive experience. But that's going to wrap up this video, guys, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And uh, before we conclude, I just want to quickly say Thank you so much for being a part of this community. Um, you know, while this is technically in my name, I really think that it's more of a group effort. The more tips that I give you guys and the opportunity you guys have given me to make this YouTube channel grow, um, the more tips I realize that I should be implementing day in and day out. So thank you guys so much for watching, for hitting that like button, for subscribing, everything that you do. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, you know where to find me, comment down below, but I'm a doctor. Like. Okay, but uh, I'll see you guys next week, just like I always do. Take care, guys.